Hey guys, welcome back to Zach Faymore. Let's play. This is episode 17. We are getting close to episode 20. I think we need to do something special for episode 20. I will ponder upon it. If you've got any ideas, stick it down in those comments below and I will read them. I will reply to them and we can get crack a lacking. Crack a lacking, lack a lack a lacking. So, first things first, right? Now, we left off from here. If you remember, we were building uh, this automatic Doomadar. Um, I went and quickly just got myself some diamond armor. And as you can see, this is all brand new, fresh. And I made myself a brand new diamond pickaxe. All fresh. I've got two diamond pickaxes now. Always, always carry a spare, always. Ooh, take my pants off. <laughs> Sorry. But now I've got my diamond sword ready, and because this skeleton was in here before, we need to we need to kill him. And what we need to do is probably start thinking about. Oh, look, 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 look. can you hear that? Oh yeah, 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 oh yeah, that's what I've been waiting for. Oh yeah, come on, give me your slimes, give me your slimes. Yeah, there's one. Just, just one, for now. Please give me another one. All I <gasps> yes, fine, finally, thank goodness. Oh, I managed to get two slimes. This is what I've been waiting for all this time. Slimes. Is there any more? Any more? Just the one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right, let's quickly go run up. Get me some sticky pistons because this is what we need to make our furnace array work wickedly. Yeah, boy. Oh, it's night time. Okay. Boop, boop. Let's go running quickly. Maybe nap. Shut those doors. Quick nap. Time to get up. Where'd I put him? Nope. Nope. There they are. Okay, I only need two. Let's make some stickity pistons. Two stickity pistons. Let's go and finish this off. I'll come off it. Come out here, bro. Come out of the shade, yeah? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. I've got diamond armor now. You seriously want to try and fight me? Ugh, gotcha. I will be hopefully, just to keep you updated, I'll be getting a new mic very, very soon. It's quite convenient though because obviously now that I'm starting to record some FaceTime with a green screen and all this magical stuff and you guys can see what's going on and everything else, I could completely forgot to get some things. Have I got any down here quick? Probably not. No, nope, have a quick run up. So I can now use my phone, which is what I'm currently doing right now, to record this, which is brilliant. Good phone quality, good high quality. Records in uh, 1080 and 720 and whatever else. And it also records vocals, which is magical. But obviously with this it's not as great quality and the cat is getting in my light go shoo shoo look look if I do that takes my light away I need that light <laughs> dogs barking cats getting in the way of the light <laughs> oh, what, what are you gonna do eh? I need some dark oaks some of them just take the lot let's run back to to run back down so yeah the quality is not that great I would very much prefer to be able to have a decent uh, condenser mic you know for recording my voice although playing 
this back through my phone on my laptop and then uploading the video to YouTube and doing all the editing and the voice enhancing and and leveling and equalizing and everything else not actually too sad it's actually pretty good but I think it can still be better with a condenser mic so that's the plan that's what I want to do okay let's do this side because this side's the work inside this is the side that's going to be providing our furnaces our blast furnaces with all the items that we need for schmertings let's go run that up quick so against this sticky piston as you can see it retract uh, how do you what would you call that okay so there you go you can see now that the fence post stops the car but keeps the de detector rail activated and that keeps the uh, you, you could just about see that that's still powered so detector rail powers the rail and keeps this all where it is and now that won't keep going back and forwards until some items start going inside the cat wants to say hello what go away would you like to say hello to the cat come here then come here quick 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 there we go I see it. say hello this guys is Tyrion and now he wants to go I'm going to let it grow I've got another cat he's getting in the way come here too he's rubbing himself up against the light oh here we go this is Orion and he also wants to go he's a bit camera shy I also have a third cat called Gingy so Tyrion Orion and Gingy. Gingy's very shy. She doesn't really like to, to, to do much. <laughs> anyway, on with the game. Now that we have that piston in, keeping this fence post in, we need to put a, another sticky piston right here, which will retract because of the redstone torch that's being powered, or is automatically powered, but then will be unpowered by comparator if it is greater value than what's inside here. I now need to go get an item to put in there. Naturally, I'm going to use cobblestone because I have tons of the stuff. Now the cats are just well interested around my little section right here. So one, two, three, four, five, and actually it starts to fill up again because I've got so much cobblestone. Absolutely tons of the stuff. I am going to start overflowing with cobblestone soon because. So I'm digging out so much and I'm chucking loads as well as I go anyway I'm not putting loads in the item sorter so if you remember in the last episode I said you need four stacks and then a stack with one missing Ta-da! so that starts powering this comparator which says the signal to here and then once this signal is stronger than that it will allow it to go I will just for the sake of it prove this to you I will go and show you I will get six stacks of cobblestone and if I fill this hopper up not that one this hopper up as you can see they go straight away look at that real quick this is filling up super fast not going anywhere now this is still gonna have items in it naturally but there it goes and there should be there you go <laughs> uh, how good is that why is it still going oh of course it hasn't emptied them so this is still showing as as full right but once that reaches a level where the comparators won't read it at least I think this is it's how it's supposed to work as far as I'm aware so basically the comparator is reading that it's full so it sends this signal off 
that's why it's allowing it to keep going because there's no items left in this hopper allowing the signal to stay on right or oh, off off so the power doesn't turn this off and so this stays on and then once it powers the comparators this turns off and lets it retract only if this was still full would that only lay, then leave until it was empty but as you can see here it distributes them evenly which is very nice and that will keep going filling it up and of course if you could imagine you're smelting away at this at the time you're, you're continuously smelting if you manage to gather six stacks of iron and gold or whatever else you can just chuck it all in and it will get it done okay so it's all finished now it's stopped it's completely empty and it's returned back to its station I will no longer go until there is item inside which is great so if this is full and it keeps getting refilled from a source the minecart will leave when the minecart is full because we have the override this override tells us that when the cart is full let it go if this is empty the cart will go if there's anything in it if that's empty and this is empty cart stays simple it's so good I will be definitely making a tutorial on that I haven't done that yet but keep your eyes peeled because it will be there okay so now that that's all good let's try and um, go away let's try and hide some of this stuff because it's a bit unsightly if you ask me what I'm gonna do though I'm gonna get rid of all these because I'm not gonna use them I'm not gonna need to use them anymore no 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 keep these as, a, as like a backup or a spare what I might do though, just because I can, is slip that there. Nice. So we've got 10 furnaces. Hello, I see you out the corner of my eye. Hoo -hoo. Come on then, bro. Yeah, you can't fool me. Okay, so what do I want? I have to keep within the theme. Let's go polished andesite. I think polished andesite will go nicely in there. Have I got any more? with me no let's empty our inventories let's get all the coal the cobblestone and drop these off in here like this because I won't need them Brilliant. I do need to do some mining because I've run out of iron entirely. So then we can then make a new cut and a hopper. So I'm going to need a little bit of iron to, to let me do that. So let's first neaten up this furnace area. I'm going to need to go to the stone cutter. Shadow, you guys haven't met Shadow either. Um, she's my dog. She's a Labrador cross German Shepherd. I'm deviating from the what I'm actually supposed to be talking about here. Shadow, come here, come here, girl. Come on, come say hello to the YouTube peeps, all my followers and and stuff. Come in, come in. This is Shadow, German Shepherd cross Labrador. She's absolutely wonderful. I'll be gone with you.
Let's go home and try and find ourselves some iron. Go down into the mine. Now there's slimes down here. Like, good. <laughs> so, now I should be able to have somewhat of a working area that I can find slimes. Oh, that's so good. Oh, here they all come. Look at them. Look at them. Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. Look at all these slime balls now. Oh, mate, you wouldn't believe how happy I am. Redstone contraptions are going to be on their way. Trust me. Absolutely trust me. Piston doors, moving contraptions, sticky pistons and regular pistons and all sorts of magical things are going to start happening now in the next couple of episodes, the next few episodes, in all the episodes to come. Because if I can get constant source of slime balls from down here which is what I, I purposely dug out this strip mine for so I have my tunnel mines that you see me do and I've got this as a strip mine yeah magic absolute magic put torches on me and I yeah so I do want it somewhat semi dark I think Boyo! More diamond. I've been really lucky when it's come to diamond in this map. Real lucky. I mean, look, there. You're normally lucky to find two pieces near each other, next to each other. I've been finding six blocks right in the, the very near vicinities of each other, and a lot, a real lot. Uh, overly lucky with it. I'm not complaining at all, I'm well chuffed that it's it's that lucky with it. Proper chuffed. So this is the part where I'll probably just start digging and zooming through, so I'll be back if I find more iron. But if not, then I'll still be back. Okay guys, so I'm back here, and let's get this going. Properly for the first time, so first let's empty out all the cobblestones. Let's smelt, shall we? So I'm just going to go straight in with it. No faffing about, takes a lot. None left over. Now I keep going until it's all full. There we go. <laughs> so this should all happen quite quickly. Look at that. It's fast. It's it is fast. No mucking about. Done and done. Yeah, nice.
Now, the best part begins. Get all the coal. And just fuel these babies. Fuel them up. Now, eventually, I will have these hoppers uh, basically being led to. So, all the coal goes in. I haven't done this part. No, I haven't. Right, let's go get some cobblestone to make this happen. Right, so, until next time, I'm going to do a bit more mining off of camera because it does take me a hell of a long time. And you guys don't want to see that being fast forwarded every time. You want episodes like today. This is this is what I want to do. Obviously, in the build up, in this series, this is that's, that's what the main part is. You're building up your empire. You're building up your resources. You're building up everything so then you can get to this. This is the point now. This is the point you get to this so most of my mining and resource gathering is going to be done off of camera i may record some i may not uh it depends what i'm doing some little minor tweaks and bits and pieces may get done off of camera as well because they're minor things and i feel like they may not be of any interest to you but I will always show you if I've done something new and different. Always keep you guys updated on what is going on. So, uh, yes. <laughs> we now have a working, fully functional... Oh, I need to get out of this camera angle. I'm well. Let's uh, try this one. Uh, did, 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 did. Faffed it. <laughs> Right, where are we? Right, I need to get a decent one. That'll do. You can see what's going on here, don't you? I think. A little bit forward. A little bit that way. No, back again. There we go. That gets everything in. Okay, guys. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. Share it with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at ZachFaymore1 and all that jazz. Until next time. Bye bye.